Download this code and get free GPT-40 from CodeGive.com, link in the description below. Sure. In Java, the scanner class is part of the java.util package and is commonly used for reading input from various sources, including user input from the console. The flush method, however, is not directly available in the scanner class, as it is not an output stream. Instead, the concept of flushing is more commonly associated with output streams to clear out any buffered data. However, when dealing with scanner, it's important to note a few scenarios where you might want to handle input properly, especially when mixing different types of input, like reading strings and numbers. Here, I'll give you an overview of how to use scanner, along with an example that illustrates the importance of handling input correctly, which might involve clearing the buffer. Hashtag 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 using Java scanner. 1. Importing the scanner class. You need to import the scanner class from the java.util package. 2. Creating a scanner object. You can create a scanner object to read input from various sources such as system.in, keyboard input. 3. Reading input. You can read different types of data, like strings, integers, etc., using methods like nextline, nextint, etc. Hashtag 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 example of using scanner. Hashtag 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 explanation of the code. One import statement, we import the scanner class. Two creating a scanner instance, we create an instance of scanner to read from the standard input, keyboard. Three reading inputs. First, we read the user's name using next line. Next, we read the user's age using next int. Note that next int does not consume the new line character after the number which can lead to issues if we try to read another line immediately after. For clearing the buffer. After reading the integer, we call scanner.nextLine, to consume the leftover new line character. This step is crucial to avoid any unexpected behavior when we read the next line, such as skipping input. 5. Final input and output. Finally, we read another string input for the favorite color and print out the gathered information. Hashtag 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 note on flush. If you were to use flush, in the context of output streams, like print writer, it would be used to clear the buffer of any data waiting to be sent out. In the case of scanner, ensure that you properly consume any leftover new lines or unwanted input to maintain the flow of your program. Hashtag 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 conclusion The scanner class is a versatile way to handle input in Java, but it's essential to manage the input correctly, particularly when mixing types. While flush is not applicable here, understanding how to handle the buffer effectively will help you avoid common pitfalls when reading user input.